I'm John Whitmire, mayor of Houston, Texas, and I stand before you today, unfortunately, to report on a tragedy that occurred just before 2 o'clock at Lakewood Church as they were in between services. I'll leave the details of the first responders' reaction in a timely fashion to the Chiefs Fenner and Chief Pena. I want Houstonians and surrounding communities to know that the first responders are doing their job in protecting the public, Houstonians, and surrounding communities. I also want everyone to know that this is an ex a perfect example of the collaboration between departments. This is exactly what we've been calling for. HPD, constables, I could just go through a list of multiple agencies representing their agencies in a very responsive way. We want to give our condolences to Reverend Osteen and his congregation. It's unfortunate on a day that we want to attend church, watch America's number one sports event, we find ourselves gathered here to respond to this tragedy. We want Houstonians to know that they are being protected by their first responders. We want to thank the Houston Fire Department for their quick response, the medical profession who is tending to one of the injured. So as mayor of the city of Houston, I want to assure everyone that everyone is at work doing their job. Let's come together on this beautiful day, a day that we're experiencing a tragedy. Let's hug our loved ones. When you leave here today, go hug your, your loved ones and say a prayer for those that are involved. Say a prayer for those officers that had to drop this suspect. They're suffering right now. And all these other first responders that I'm surrounded by, they're doing their job so we can be safe. At this time, let me yield to our police chief, Troy Finner. Thank you, Mayor. Like the mayor said, and I, I think the most important uh, message, uh, before I get into details, is talk about the resiliency of our great city. And we worship together, we cry together, but we rebuild together. This is a tragic day, but you watch how we stand together. No suspect, our suspects, will tear down our city and our places of worship. Pastor Osteen is standing with us and all of our partners, and I want to thank them all, our local, our state, our federal partners. Um, I just want to give some detail um, here, but pray for everybody that's, that's involved. Uh, the victims who I'll discuss here, and, and the, the unsaid victims, those individuals that came here to worship today and had to witness this. But rest assured, in this city, we're going to stand strong and we're going to move forward. So approximately at 1.53 p.m., a female, approximately 30, 35 years old, entered the property on the west side here in the parking lot of Lakewood Church. She entered the building. She was armed with a long rifle and a trench coat with a backpack, accompanied by a small child, approximately four to five years old. Uh, once she entered, uh, at some point she began to fire. I want to compliment the off-duty officers who were working extra employment here. One TABC agent, four years of service, 38 years old. An HPD off-duty officer, 28 years old, two years of service. Both officers, the officer and agent, uh, engaged, uh, striking the female. Uh, she's deceased here on the scene. Unfortunately, a five-year-old kid was hit and is in critical condition at our local hospital. That was a 57-year-old man who didn't have anything to do with it, I don't think, was shot in the leg. He's seeking treatment in the hospital. So let's all pray for each and every one of them. Uh, once um, she went down, um, officers 
reported back to us that she threatened uh, that she had a bomb. So we searched her vehicle, our bomb squad, um, and also the backpack. No explosives were found, but she was also spraying some type of substance uh, on the ground. So HFD came and uh, uh, the chief, our chief, would speak briefly on that. But again, we're gonna stand strong. Um, again, I wanna commend those officers. She had a long gun and it could have been a lot worse, but they stepped up and they did, they did their job. And I wanna thank them for that. As you know, when an officer's involved in a shooting, we conducted a criminal investigation, Harris County District Attorney's Office, and also uh, both agencies conduct administrative um, investigations. That will uh, take place. Uh, both of these officers will, and uh, the officer and the agent will be placed on administrative uh, duty. But again, let's pray for everybody. And uh, we stand strong here in Houston. Um, I'll pass it on right now. Um, uh, let me say this too. Um, places of uh, worship, that's what they are. And that's what they will remain in our city. So it's just an opportunity for us to refocus and make sure that we all look out for one another. There will be increased patrols and a lot of conversation in our command post with our federal partners and our local partners. But we're gonna increase those patrols in and around uh, those religious institutions. And it doesn't matter which faith. We love everybody here in our city and everybody's important. So let me pass it on to uh, Fire Chief Pena. Thank you, Troy. thank you, Chief, and thank you, Mayor. Um, first of all, let me let me thank all the agencies that are here uh, with us. This is uh, really a, a team effort, and our prayers are with, and our positive thoughts are with the injured, and with the officers that engaged uh, this this suspect. It's traumatic not only for our community, but it's certainly traumatic for the officers who've uh, who had to take a life, and. We worry about their mental health as well, so our prayers are with them, and we're going to give them whatever support they need to ensure that they uh, are able to manage through this uh, through this incident safely. Uh, kudos to the first responders. The Houston Fire Department, Police Department was uh, here within minutes. We are now dealing with consequence management of this incident. Now that the threat has been uh, neutralized, we are going to take our time to ensure that any issue, any risk that we see is uh, properly vetted. We have our hazmat team on scene. We, uh, you see behind us, you have uh, decon units that are, that are participating in collaboration with the Houston Police Department's bomb squad to ensure that we are looking at every uh, aspect that, uh, that may be of risk. Right now, I can, I can uh, safely say that we have not found anything that is of concern to our community or to this location. Uh, but we're going to take our time to ensure that uh, that we look at every aspect. Uh, our hazmat team, our decon team, and our rescue team will remain on scene until until needed, and we're going to collaborate in this uh, in this effort. We did transport two uh, patients: one, a five -year, approximately a five-year-old child in critical condition. They went to, to uh, Texas Children's, and we transported a second male, about 56 uh, years of age, with uh, an injury to the hip. He, uh, last I heard, he was in stable condition. Both are still in the hospital. The child is still in critical condition, and uh, we don't have any further information as far as uh, his status. But uh, again, let's, uh, let's pray for this community uh, as a whole. This is traumatic for everyone, of, of every Houstonian. And these types of incidents are, unfortunately, something that uh, we deal more often than, than we need to with. So, uh, look, we're going to remain on scene. I'm going to pass this on now to... Let me get right before to I who? get it to... Let okay. me, before I bring Go it up. Yeah. yeah. Really quickly, uh, this is a, yeah, this is a light, uh, an isolated incident, we believe, at this moment, okay? Uh, no farther danger to uh, our public, uh, but we do want to do a, conduct a methodical search of the building to make sure um, that nobody's in there, nobody else is in there hurt. So that will continue. Um, we ask that the public stay away from the area and let us do our job on that. Uh, the reunification uh, location for our parents or our family members uh, is the Lifetime uh, Fitness Center uh, here. And uh, if you come up, we'll direct you. Try to stay on the east side of the building, not on the west side of the building, and we'll get you in, uh, re 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 reunited with your family members. Okay, Pastor.